Okay, so the first and foremost thing that is important for your branding is to be you. So, so many people get wrapped up in, I need logos, I need to create a colour scheme, I need this, I need that. You need to find out what makes you different to other people first because there's no point in branding yourself and creating this amazing logo and colour if you've got nothing about you that's different to other people. It doesn't mean you have to have green hair or, <laughs> you know, you have three fingers. It doesn't mean that. Um, it just means that what I want you all to write this down now. Write down... Just three things that people will know you for. It might be that you're a mum. It might be that you're really into sport. It might be that you've, you've got dogs and you're always posting about your dogs. What is it that brands you and you as a person? What is it that you can bring to the table that other people can't? I definitely can't bring any dogs to the table because I'm allergic to them. So that's not happening. <laughs> But the other thing is, is I can't be a mum, I don't have children. So there's certain things that I can't do that you guys can do. It might be certain things that, you know, you look um, to certain people for inspiration and they help you brand yourself. So write down three things that you can say that other people will recognise about you. So my things are, is I'm really into netball. So I post a lot of stuff about netball. The other thing is, is I see myself as um, good at sh sharing my relationships. So I love that I can share pictures out for meals with my friends, with my boyfriend, with lots of different people. And then the other things might be that I was a student. So I'm really good at connecting with people who are students, who maybe are struggling for money who um, don't know what to do or where, where their direction is or, you know, maybe just struggling generally of having to um, schedule their life around studies. So write down these three things. I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. So I'll explain who I am for those who are new. Um, I'm Hannah Godfrey and when I started my business, I was working full time for lots of different promotional companies. It was amazing. I was working for Cadbury, so I got lots of free chocolate. I was working for Nike. I got lots of free trainers. Um, so it just meant that I was enjoying my job. But also being a student, I had to work full time on my placement. So I was trying to fit in placement time around my um, business and also around my full time job. So when people say they don't have time, I completely understand. I struggled for time. I really did. But every time I drove to a new store or outlet because I had to do merchandising, I was on that phone and I was speaking to people. I was speaking to people out and about and I was doing everything that I could, literally the 30 second drive that I had or, you know, whatever I was doing, if I was walking back to the car, I was calling somebody. So it is really important that you can... Do everything that you want to do, um, but also have the surroundings of being you. So I still help a lot of students. I still um, encourage my relationships on my Facebook. I still really, really encourage that I play sport. I play netball and that's why I'm different. So it's important that when you're on your social media, that you're showing people these channels of your story. <clears throat> Sorry. And so that people can see that you are different and that it's not just, I can do everything, I am everybody, I love everything. It's not about that. Pick your channels and go with them and drive with them because you're going to have um, an audience on that channel. So, you know, if you are a mum, attract mums to your business. You know, that is your key area. You know, if you're interested in animals, attract people with animals to your business. And you're going to do that by posting about it. So these are a few things is when you post, never, ever post anything negative. Even if you're having a little bit of a joke and you're like, oh, like how funny was it when they smashed into my car today? Like, just don't put it because people don't want to read about it. People don't want to see the first thing in the morning, something negative. Even if it's a little bit sarcastic, they would much rather see an upbeat post. 
The other thing is, is I see so many times people just put statuses without pictures. You will never, ever, ever find that on my profile, I just do a status without a picture. Never. You'll never go on my profile. Every single thing has a picture. Every single status has, has a story. So for those that are visual on Facebook, they can see what I'm doing. For those that like to read, they can read it, but actually the picture um, tells a thousand words. So only ever post a status that has a picture with it. Even if you have to find a picture that resembles what you're talking about or you know, take a picture of where you are, do that, it is much better than not doing one at all, um, and it is hard, you've got to get in the swing of things, at first you're like, what would I take a picture of, like, this is a little bit weird, like, I'm only having a coffee, take a picture of your coffee, um, and just be creative with it, it only takes two seconds, you just go, right, I'll take a picture of that, and that's it, that's up, but it just gives people visual um, learning, and they can learn a story about you, they'll remember pictures, I can remember looking through certain people's profiles, and I can visualise their pictures on their profile, because I can see it, I don't remember the ones where they've written a status ever, and I usually scroll past them, so that's a tip, the other thing is, is to have your Facebook open, so have your Facebook open so that other people can follow you and they can see your profile. If you've got children or you've got posts that you don't want other people to see, hide that post. Hide that post from, to friends only. That is absolutely fine. You do that when you um, enter the status. But it's really important that you have an open profile because if people outside of your friendship group want to be your friend and want to know more about what you do, they need to be able to follow you. They need to be able to watch what you're doing. So that's really important as well. The other thing is, is I'm going to tell you a really, really cool website that you guys can use for your branding. And it's an amazing website. Um, and it's going to help you guys. It doesn't mean, I don't want everyone going out there going, I need to find a colour, I need to find a logo that's going to change me and be my, like, my branding. Your branding is you. So make sure you get that right first, because if you don't get that right, there is absolutely zero point doing a logo and zero point finding a colour brand. Once you've got that right, then find a colour that you scheme that you really like. Then find a logo maybe that represents you as a person. Don't do a logo that represents your company. And don't do that on your business cards either. Your business cards need to be you. They need to be have your information on and they need to have your picture on as well. Because what's important is when you give somebody that, you want to brand yourself. You're not branding anybody else. You're not branding your company. You're branding you. That's why people join. They don't join you for your company. They join you because of you. So that's important as well. Never ever incorporate your company into anything unless it's something that you're doing with your company. Because yes, the companies are amazing. Yes, whatever business it is that you're doing, it's down to the company. But actually, when you when you give somebody information, they want to see you, they want to see your story before they see anything else. And that way you're going to get them hooked and then you can tell them about the company. So go through your Facebook. Do you mention the company? Get rid of it. Do you mention on your profile where you work or are you working for yourself or are you, you know, have you branded yourself yet? Change it. It's very, very simple, but these things are when outsiders come and have a look at your Facebook, they're going to go, who's that? And, oh, I've heard about that company. They might not agree with that company. They might not necessarily heard good things. That is not your fault. And actually, there's been a number of people that I've been able to turn around because they have always said, I don't know what you do. And I tell them and they go, actually, I had heard about this, but I was really negative about it. But now you're talking about it. And I know you, and I know you as a person wouldn't do something, so yeah, I'm interested. And that's what happens, and that way you can turn the reputation around, and people will focus on what you have to bring, rather than what they've heard by previous people. So that's a really key thing for you. So, make sure that it's positive, make sure that you are showing you, and not showing. Don't just focus on one channel as well, like, I love your kids, but enough of the kids photos, okay, so yes, do a picture with the kids, yes, do a picture of a mumsy outfit, 
something like that a mumsy tea or what mumsy tea, whatever it is book that you'd like to read be creative it doesn't just have to be a picture of your child sticking their finger up the nose <laughs> like be creative with it same with your animals like your animal your profile picture needs to be a photograph of you that is it. It doesn't need to be a picture of you and your dog. It doesn't need to be a picture of you and your boyfriend. It needs to be a picture of you because people want to focus on you. If they wanted to see you and your boyfriend. They'd add your boyfriend on Facebook too. So it's important that all this goes across all these social medias. The same picture is used on your Instagram, on your Twitter, so that someone can go, I'm going to follow her on Twitter as well. It's really quick for them to do it because it's the same profile picture. And it's creating that same sort of brand all the way through and that is how simple branding can be it doesn't have to be this expensive thing it doesn't have to be this huge thing that you know you're gonna have to go out there and find someone to build you um a logo and things like that. it doesn't have to be like that it's just really simple twists and just changing the simple things are gonna help build you so one website I want you all guys to get on, it's incredible um, and it's going to really, really help build your businesses and it's called Hootsuite. Now Hootsuite is a social media platform. So what I found was, is I don't have time to be posting but actually it's really important for me and my branding that people know my story every single day, they know where to find me but it's the same across all my social medias. Well, I was finding that once you post on one, then you've got to go to the other, and then you've got to go to the other, and all you forgot, and it just became a bit of a nightmare. So every single Sunday evening, I set up on Hootsuite. It's free as well, which is amazing. You can upgrade, but I choose the free one. And you can pick three social media platforms. So whether it's Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever it is, you can go on there and you can set up and schedule your post for the full week from morning till night and it also schedules it for the time that it's it, most people are on Facebook so you can schedule it so that it's when it's optimum time okay so things like I, I would say but what about I'm not going to be able to do a picture if I'm not actually there that's absolutely fine but things like my 8am periscope picture, I can put in every single day at 7.55. So I've not had to do that any morning. It's been done for me. Little things like um, whether it's a team photo or going to meet some team members. I can take a picture of my team or have a, a previous picture of my team and post that up. It doesn't mean it's happening in the moment. It means that I'm going to meet those people. So it's just about being clever with your social media. It's about thinking ahead. It's not lies. It's not making things up. You're not saying you're doing things when you're not. It's just about making sure that your time is spent well wisely. We went to the beach and I, I obviously couldn't take pictures of me at the beach until I was at the beach this week. So I, obviously things like that, I had to wait until I got there and I uploaded those pictures when I was there. But it's important that you have a structure around your days that you can pop these pictures on so that they're ready to go, they're done for you. And you could say, look, I've already posted three times and I've not actually posted. Oops, sweet's posted for me. So actually I can post today something else that I'm doing or somewhere that I am today and let people see my story. So that is an amazing, amazing app. And if you love that little tip, Give me lots of loves. Um, and because it's Fun Filled Friday, I'm going to give you um, a couple of minutes to ask any questions about business that you would like to ask me. And I'm going to do my best to answer them. So get writing them out below. And what I want you to do is just ask any question that you feel that you would need help on. And I'm going to give you a quick five minutes of my time. And I'm going to help you. Hannah, I've tried looking for your business page, but can only find your personal page. It's called Real Hannah Godfrey. And you can also, if you find my personal page, you just click in where it says about. And in my, um, where it says where I work, it says I work at my business page. So just click there and it will take you to my business page. Um, so if you've got any questions, feel free to ask anything. Anything that's niggling away at you about in your business. Anything that's stressing you out, anything that you want to help with that I can ask them for you. So what about if you're a teacher, I can't have my page as open. Create a new page. 
create a page that people are going to be able to go to create a, a lifestyle that people are going to be able to go to you could um create something that you know instagram it might be twitter it might be that you push those pages more than you do your facebook page but it's really really simple and as a teacher the reasons why you don't open it is because obviously for where you live it might be that you're posting stuff on there that you wouldn't want your students to see um, so just make sure that everything that you post is um, available and you would want people to see so that's really important too is that you don't post things that you wouldn't want other people to see but maybe make up a separate page like a business page do you have time out social time every day from your business yeah so I think it's really important I don't think that you can run a business without stopping um I think it's really important that you do take time out not not necessarily because um you need a rest or things like that but actually your brain needs time I call it fueling time so today I'll take a walk and that's going to be my fueling time where I refuel my brain so that it gets fresh ideas, it becomes creative, um, it gives me time to rethink things. I think faster after I've been on a walk or done exercise. Um, I think of ideas that I wouldn't have been able to do if I'd just been like focusing on my laptop. By taking that time out as well, you're meeting new people um, and you're also out there and about. Like That's the whole idea about our business and that's one thing that you all need to focus on is it's you don't do this business because you want to work from home. You do this business so that it gives you um, ways that you can get out there and do the things that you're missing in life when you're working behind an office. Do you send friend requests to people who you don't know? No, don't send friend requests to people you don't know. I've been worried about... Oh, I missed that one. Can you send that one again? Sorry. How do you deal with people who are on the fence? There's different reasons for why people are on the fence. And that's because either they don't believe yet about what you have to offer or they have questions that need answering. And that is the only reason why people are on the fence. If they feel what you felt when you started your business and that this can be a massive solution to their problems and that it's going to make them feel a lot better than what they already are doing the money to get started isn't an issue doing the actual activity isn't an issue so if people are sat on the fence ask them say what questions do you have that i can answer what's stopping you from getting started today what what can i do to help you get started this week and if it is money you need to go to them and say these are the options but actually, look at the business. Look what it's going to give you. Look what you know solution-based um, answers I can give you that are going to help you understand that it's 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 worth ten times the amount that you're looking at paying. So really focus on how you can help them. If they mention a problem, focus in on that and say this will help you with your time with your children. This is going to give you that space to be able to work it around the school it's going to be able to allow you to pick them up it's going to be able to allow you to on the school holidays not have to get childcare. you know think about how much you pay for that and then just take that away from what you're doing to get started with your business if you do that now by that point in the summer you're not going to have to worry about childcare. so it's about focusing on those little things um and then you know if someone's sat on the fence sometimes they just it's not the right time it's not the right time, so make sure that you answer all their problems, but then move on. Just say, absolutely fine, you know where I am, come back to me, and we'll, I'll keep you updated in about two or three weeks, I'll let you know how we're getting on, then again in six months' time, we'll have a chat, we'll catch up, but actually sometimes it's just not the right time, so yeah, move on. Have a lot of people that are sat on the fence, and one of them will fall off. <laughs> okay, has anybody else got any questions before I disappear today? This has been a brilliant scope, Hannah. Oh, thank you. Brilliant. Amazing. Amazing, guys. Thank you ever so much. I really, really appreciate all your support. And, you know, this is for you guys. This is to help you guys. I do this completely for free. So this is to give you guys some time that you can have some training every single morning. Mindset. Who do you listen to? I listen to Dave O'Connor. Um, I also listen to Brad Burton is incredible. He's my new mo motivational crush. He's really, really good. Um, if you can look at him on YouTube. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a uh, kick. And that is what Brad Burton does. Dave O'Connor's like the 
calm down that's sometimes what I need as well so it's good to have a bit of a mix um also my, a lot of my team is my mindset if my team are positive and pumped that makes me feel positive and pumped if my team aren't then I'm not. So I need to focus from the beginning, make sure I'm positive and pumped, then my team will be, then I will be again. And it's a vicious circle. So my team are also my mindset. Amazing. Thank you ever so much for staying on the Periscope today. And I hope you have all enjoyed it. I hope you have a smashing weekend. Um, please do message me if you would love me to continue doing these at 8am every morning. Has this helped you? If it has, um, type away. Let me know that it's helped you and you want this to continue 8 o'clock every morning. And tap away on the screen and give me lots of love. Yes, please. You would like the yes. Love that, Hannah. Thanks. Amazing. So, it looks like I might be doing them <laughs> every morning. Brilliant. So... Please do follow my um, business page. Please do follow me on Twitter, on Instagram. Share this with your team because it really is appreciated by me. Um, and go and smash it. It's really important that you guys smash it too. So follow me at Real Hannah Godfrey. And go and smash your week and brand you. Become what you are and let everybody know your stories because that is going to be the best brand you can have before you start thinking about colours and logos. That comes into it too, but that will be on the extended version of creating your brand. Speak to you soon. Bye.